Good afternoon. This is HorseRacingNation.com handicapper Jared Horak with your video feature race of the week. This week's feature race for Saturday, March 5th, is going to be the 10th race from Santa Anita Park, the Grade 1 Santa Anita Handicap. Four-year-olds and up, we're going to be traveling a mile and a quarter on the main track. Let's meet the 11-horse field. Now, eight of the horses are trained by three different trainers. Uh, Bob Baffert has four horses. He has Spurrier, First Dude, Tweedster, and Game One Dude. Uh, Patty Gallagher has a couple in here. He has Soul Candy, and he also has Aggie Engineer. And then John Sadler has two in, in this event, uh, Gladding and Twirling Candy. Now, your main pace players look like Gladding, Twirling Candy, and First Dude. Uh, your, your major stalkers are going to be Tweedster, Aggie Engineer, a possibly game one dude from the outside post. And then your deep closers, Soul Candy, Spurrier, and Setsuko. And my top choice in here is going to be the favorite Twirling Candy. It uh, definitely looks tough to beat. He was visually impressive last time out uh, in, the, in the Stroop Stakes. He stopped the pace and he won under a hand ride. He's going to sit that same kind of trip today. Uh, his stable mate Gladding will probably be right up on the pace. Uh, Twirling Candy should be within a couple lengths of the lead, sitting that nice stalking trip. He's probably going to take the lead turning for home. Probably going to be tough to catch if he runs anywhere near his last race. Uh, they're all running for second money. And my second choice is going to be Aggie Engineer. I thought that was a, a decent effort last time. A Gladding completely controlled the pace from the inside post. The Aggie Engineer was stalking the pace wide. Ended up finishing third. He had won two great stakes in a row prior to that one. Uh, he definitely looked good a couple starts back at Santa Anita in the San Pasquale. That was at a mile on the 16th when he stalked the pace and he ended up oh, rolling home. I think that's the kind of trip he's going to sit today. He was at that nice stalking trip. I think the pace is going to be a little bit quicker than his last race. I'm not sure he really wants to go 10 furlongs, but he should get a, a decent setup. He's going to set a, a decent stalking trip. If he can run back to a Sam Pasquale, definitely a top three threat. I'm going to go for a long shot in third. Oh, that's going to be Setsuko from the Richard Mandela barn. Uh, he's only won one race lifetime, uh, so this is an ambitious spot. But he was on the Kentucky Derby Trail last year. He was well regarded. He's bred to run all day. I think on the main track now at a mile and a quarter, he's going to sit back, he's going to get a little bit of pace help, and maybe he can jump in there and finish in the top three. He's reportedly training well for this, and Mandela wouldn't run a, a horse eligible for an entry-level spot in a grade one race, unless he thought he had a chance to at least hit the board. Here's how I suggest playing this race. We're going to play a couple of $1 trifectas. In our first trifecta, we're going to put Twirling Candy on top, we're going to put Setsuko and Aggie Engineer in the second spot, then we're going to use all in the third spot. We're going to come back in our second trifecta. We're going to put Twirling Candy on top. We're going to put all in the second spot. We're going to put our two contenders, Setsuko and Aggie Engineer, in the third spot. And, and, the, and the trifecta total it will cost a total of $36, uh, $18 for each trifecta. Now, if you like watching horse racing on television, you're going to love this offer from the Dish Network. The Dish Network presents Racetrack Television Network, including over 80 channels of horse racing. Uh, so for horse racing enthusiasts, uh, you should get this package. You're definitely going to love it. I would suggest calling Dish Network uh, and asking more about uh, the Horse Racing uh, Television Network. I think this is going to be a great offer. You'll probably really enjoy it. And that'll wrap up this week's video race of the week. This is HorseRacingNation.com handicapper Jared Horak. Good luck at the races.